In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to change user interface language in Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will show you how to check available languages in Windows instance. And after that, I will be downloading and installing French language. And also, I will set it as my default UI language. And that's basically it. Now to check what languages are available in a Windows instance, we can use this command right here, get installed language. I will click on the button right here to copy the command, go to my Vember workstation, where I have this Windows virtual machine, and I will be executing all the PowerShell commands inside of this virtual machine. Then I will go to my start menu, I will search for PowerShell, and I will run it as administrator. Then I will click yes here, and I will insert the command from the GitHub page, Press enter and now we can see the available languages. And as you can see currently I only have a single language installed, English United States. And without installing any other languages I cannot change my user interface language. And before downloading and installing other languages I want to show you this command right here, get system preferred UI language. And this shows us the default user interface language that we have on the system. I will click on the button right here to copy the command. Go back to my virtual machine, insert the command and press enter. And as you can see, the default user interface language in my case is English United States. And that's basically it for getting information about currently installed languages. Now for installing other languages, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have few snippets. And in the first snippet, we have the command install language. We need to provide language that we want to download and install. And also it gives us an option to set it as our default language. And that means that this single command will download and install French language in my case, and also set it as my default user interface language. And this snippet would work in most cases, but I will not be using it in this video. Instead, I will be using this snippet, and here we need to provide what language we want for our user interface, then it will check if this language is currently our user interface language, and if not, then it will check if it's available in the current Windows image. And if it's not, then it will first download the language. And then after downloading it and installing it, it will set it as a default user interface language. And basically this snippet performs same actions as this one, but it performs additional checks. Anyways, now I'll click on the button right here to copy this PowerShell snippet, go back to my Vember workstation, and I will insert the snippet into my command line and I will press enter. And the command started executing and now we need to wait for the language to download and install. And the PowerShell snippet finished executing. Now if I run command get installed a language, we can see additional language in the list. We can see the French language. And also if I run get system preferred UI language, we can see it that it's currently the French language, our preferred UI language. And for the settings to apply, I need to reboot the computer. So I'll type shut down, minus R minus T zero. Press enter, and now let's wait a bit. As you can see, some elements of the user interface are already French. And after the reboot, we can open the start menu. For example, let's go into the settings application. And here we can see that almost everything in here is in French language. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.